welcome everyone in this video we are going to learn about block elements few of the block elements that are used in html so we are going to learn about div then p element and a few more so let us see what is block element a block element it always starts on a new line and the browser automatically adds some space that is a margin before and under after the element that is a block element will take up the entire width of the screen so two of the most commonly used block elements are p and div so p stands for paragraph i have already made a video where i have told you how you can create a paragraph you can see the uh, videos in my playlist then the next element is div so i will tell you what is div okay it is an element that defines a division or a section in an html document so i will go to the atom editor and tell you how you can create a div element this is my atom editor i will create a new file file new file first of all save this page press control s give any name you want suppose i am giving extra 1.html okay so i'll write down exclamation mark and tap so here it comes automatically in atom uh, editor so here let me change the title so let me write down suppose block okay you can give any name you want so i want to create a div element so i will just write down div so class let it be empty because uh, we will see later on like in the later videos uh, what to write inside class and all here i am just uh, creating a div element here if you want to write some paragraph let me use a fill up you know, filler text filler paragraph lauren so automatically something has come so let me save it now i will write i will like to run this particular uh, code so to run it i will have to go to the place or folder where i have saved my uh, file so extra one double click so this is my uh, element created inside the div element so if you see it occupies the entire width of the screen and there is some margin on both sides okay on all the sides of the block so this is a div element so suppose i want to apply some styling to it to the entire div element what i can do is that i can write down uh, style okay so in the style equal to just cut it off style equal to you can specify whatever you want to type so suppose uh, i want to change the background color of the div element so let's see how we can do it this is my text so here i can suppose write style equal to background color suppose i want to change so i just write down background color let's change it to black so i'll just write down black now if you want to change anything else you can write accordingly here one extra this one okay now it's fine okay background color you can change then suppose i want to change the uh, font color so i will just write down color and suppose the text i want to be in white that's it and suppose you want to add some padding i'll tell you what is padding okay suppose 2 pixel okay save it let's run it and see how it looks this was my file so you see now some black color uh, has been added to the background as a whole and my letters are in white color and some padding i have uh, given that is on top how many pixels i have given 2 pixel 2 pixel 2 pixel 2 pixel like that i can change the padding also suppose i am giving let's see if i what happens if i give 10 pixel okay save it and run it then you want, you will understand what is padding you see on top of the text um, what to say 10 pixels here also 10 this side also this side there is no space itself that's why it is coming like this but from all sides 10 pixels have been added so this is what is meant by padding so this uh, particular styling has been applied to the entire uh, div class 
So we have discussed about uh, block elements. Now let us see what is inline elements. So an inline element does not start on a new line. Okay, it takes only it takes up as much width as necessary. Example span element. So unlike block elements, this inline elements it is not going to be applied to the entire block on the screen. It is just going to be applied to the regions that you specify. So one of the inline elements is span element. So now I will show you how you can apply span element to your block, uh, web page. Okay, uh, to show inline element or a span element, let us create one uh, paragraph here. So suppose I am writing uh, hello everyone. Welcome to my channel suppose. Okay. So this is what I have written. Uh, suppose I want this welcome. I want suppose to apply some styling to this only welcome element. So definitely it is not going to occupy the entire uh, width of the screen. Only this element I need to change. So I can apply some styling to it using span element. That is inline element. I will just write down span. I want to apply it to this element only so my span will end here so what I want to apply suppose I want to uh, create one border around it so I'll just write down style equal to what I want to or uh, apply border so I'll just write down border suppose one pixel solid black so there are many see if you go to Google and write down how to style how to what are the different uh, how can how you can uh, style the borders so different types will come you can write one px uh, solid dashed also like that many things are available depending on your uh, necessity you can go to google and check it out so here i just want a simple border so i have written like this save it and then see this paragraph has come and there is one border around this element uh, word welcome so this is a span element if you want you can increase the size of the border suppose 5 if you give 5 refresh so it has become more darker so this is how you can give inline element so that's all for today's video thank you everyone